All right, before we get started talking about the Chris Drain reveal and all the new stuff, I'm gonna do a quick reminder. We're still working on getting the likes to do our Lyrical giveaway. So we're giving away one box of Lyrical Mile Stereo if we can get the unboxing video up to 200 likes. But on top of that, also gonna have some deck boxes, Lyrical sleeves. So, you know, these are gonna be in the giveaway bundle as well. So there's gonna be three winners. Be sure to go ahead, check out that video, give it a like. Once we get up to 200 likes, we're gonna go ahead and open it up for the giveaway. These items were sponsored by 50 Cards, so thank you to them for sponsoring the giveaway and for helping us with all of our Vanguard supplies and products. If you haven't heard of 50 Cards, it's an online store where you can pick up bundles, play sets, play mats, deck boxes, sleeves, like you see here. They got all sorts of stuff for Vanguard, stuff for Shadowverse as well, so if you play Shadowverse, they're a great resource to check out. You can also get 5% off when you use code Nexus at checkout as well. So thank you to 50 Cards, and we're just gonna jump right into the Chris Rain video. Chris Rain, we got Highlander and Standard, great. So while it's not like strict Highlander like we've seen in V-Series and Premium, it's still the same gimmick of having cards with different names on the board which is a lot easier to do than revealing like the top 10 and having them all be different card names. So let's just jump right into Chris Rain's skill. First skill is act, kind of blast one, perform one of the following. If you have four or more units with different card names, perform two instead of one. If you have five or more, perform all instead of one. So right off the bat, you can just draw an energy charge three for kind of blast one. If you have four or more units with different names, you can choose one of your units and it gets 15K. If you have five or more, Chris Rain gets an extra critical on top of that. So power and crit, a lot of good pressure just for a single counterblast, including the draw and energy charge just to make up for costs. It's not bad. The divine skill, at the end of the battle, this unit attacked a grade three or greater unit. You return all your rear guards to your hand, choose up to one unit card from your hand, call it to rear, and until the end of turn, increase or decrease that unit's power and critical to match this unit. So obviously the idea here is to give the power and the crit to Chris Rain with the first skill after having a full board of five different units. Swing with the whole board, Chris Rain attacks at the end of it, you bounce everything back, call something, and it's also got a big beefy number on top of it. So it's definitely more of a finisher divine skill as opposed to a setup like Wallstra. Right off the bat, people are kind of like, oh, this card's not that good. I mean, the Divine Skill doesn't really like give you five units instantly with different card names. Maybe that was the expectation with the skill. I do kind of like that it's more of a finisher. That's just me personally. But before we can judge a book by its cover, we have to look at the rest of the support cards, which you're gonna get into right now. Starting off with the starter, typical stuff like you always know, draw a card if you want second. The grade one for the ride line, which is Lively Navy Tif Tifane. When this unit is rode upon by Confident Aqua Maset, reveal the top card of your deck, call it to rear if it is a grade two or less unit and put it into your hand if it is not. That's kind of nice because you can just start filling your board really early, being really aggressive, which can kind of help push your opponent to four for the end game. The grade two, which is Confident Aqua Maset. When this unit is wrote upon by a grade three card with Chris Rain in its name, reveal the top card of your deck, call it to rear if it is a grade three or less unit, put it into your hand if it is not. So again, building up a board, I also like the fact that um, if you ride a grade two and you see a grade three, you can just add it back to your hand so you can get ready for Persona Ride late game. And obviously, the minute you ride Chris Rain, you can just call whatever's on the top of your deck if you choose to. For the rear guard support, we got a pretty decent double R. Uh, it has two effects. The first one, continuous during the battle this boosted. If you have a grade three or greater Vanguard Chris Rain, this gets 5K. Second skill, auto, when this boosts a grade three or greater Vanguard Chris Rain in its name. If you have four or more, units with different card names, Energy Blast 3, and until the end of that battle, when your opponent would call cards without Sentinel to the Guardian Circle, they must call three or more cards with different grades at a time. So that effect alone is already kind of bonkers. You already get the Energy Charge from Chris Rain, so you get that effect off super easy. And the fact that if your opponent doesn't have a PG that they have to guard with three or more cards of different grades, they can't even just guard with three or more different triggers just to make it easier for them, it's gonna make it hard for them to guard that Chris Rain attack um, with the extra power and crit. And if they use that Sentinel to stop the Vanguard, then you use Divine Skill, call a new unit, give it that power and a crit, and then hopefully they don't have a second PG. The Grade Two Rear Guard, which is a Triple R, we have Innocent Orange NS. When this unit is placed on rear, if you have a Grade Three or Greater Vanguard, Chris Rain in its name. Counter Blast One, Energy Blast Three. Look at the top five cards of your deck, 
Choose up to one unit from among them with a different card name than any of the units on your van or rear. Call it to rear, shuffle your deck. So good board filling, you know, so you can have cards of different card names. Auto, when this unit attacks a grade three or greater unit, if you have four or more units with different card names, this unit gets 10K power until the end of battle. Free 10K, you can't go wrong with that. And lastly, just to cover some additional support, we got a normal order, which is Energy Blast 2, Choose three of your rear guards with different card names and they get 5k. So super simple, nothing crazy going on there, but you know, the extra power could be helpful. So overall, the support kind of seems pretty decent, but kind of looking at all the rest of the support that you have for Lyrical, such as cards that already bounce themselves, cards that search for additional copies of themselves. You already have all the support cards where like, you know, discard, draw, if you're discarding from the ride deck and, you know, just kind of generic, good cards for Lyrical. So I think Chris Rain alone is pretty decent. I don't know if it's a meta contender. The support doesn't really seem like, oh, we're just gonna look at a top five and just call three things with different card names. Just fill your board. It seems pretty fair, seems pretty balanced. I like Chris Rain's skill, and I do like the fact that it helps give you more energy for the energy charge, which is nice. I like a lot of these more energy charge focused cards. But other than that, there isn't really anything overwhelming about Chris Rain in my personal opinion. I think the deck seems fair. I also think maybe people are, are kind of worried that if this is like the main lyrical support, what's going to happen to the rest of it? I think we're still going to get those nice little lyrical boosters for the other lyrical decks in the coming future. So nothing to worry about that. I think the main booster is just kind of focusing on the Chris Rain cards and the trial deck one. So just as another really quick recap, we got some other cards that were revealed with the main booster set. So I'm just gonna kind of cover those real quick. A couple weeks ago, we got Desire Devil Dokusen, uh, greed on support card when it's placed on rear. Choose up to one greed on or Desire Devil from drop, put in your soul. The total number of cards in your soul greed on or Desire Devil is four or more. This gets 5k, so super simple, support grade three. We got a really good triple R card for Welstra. During your turn, if your order zone has a product, this gains 5k. And then auto, when this attacks, if you have a Vanguard with Welstra with divine skill, you can kind of blast one, choose a product in your order zone and operate it. So now we have multiple ways to operate cards in the order zone, which is gonna keep up with the multi-attacking and the aggression that Welstra can provide, which is really cool. And we got some new ride line cards for Magnolia. So Cheris and Lattice got some retrains. For Cheris, we have when this unit is rode upon by a grade two with Sylvan Horn Beast in its card name. Look at the top three cards of your deck. Choose up to one grade two or less, called to rear. You may discard the rest. If you did not discard any cards, put the rest of the cards at the bottom of your deck in any order. Then for Lattice, we got when this unit is rode upon by a grade three with Magnolia in its name. Soul Blast one. Choose a grade three or greater card from your drop zone or a normal order from your drop, and you can put it back into your hand. It also has the rear guard skill during your turn. If you have a grade three or greater Vanguard of Magnolia same, it gets 5k. So super simple, continuous effect. If you soul blast it and bring it back to the board, you got a little 15k beater there. I think the incentive behind this is obviously people were kind of focusing more around the Zorga ride line with the grade one and the grade two Husk Dragon. So this is kind of to, I guess, incentivize people to kind of use more of these Sylvan Beast uh, cards, especially since Lattice can now add normal orders back to your hand. So you got one or the other, which is kind of nice. But overall, my thoughts about uh, all the support now, at this point, we pretty much have the first set of DZBT01 completely released in Japan. So the full set is released. The meta is already kind of like establishing itself. There isn't really anything defining at the moment so far, but a lot of people have been talking a lot about how much they like Varga. Rezil is doing okay. Wolstra is doing okay. Chris Train has some appearances. I think people are just playing around with the decks, figuring out what they like. And I think so far it's pretty simple. It's been the first week since this set came out. We still need a couple weeks to figure out what the top contending deck in this Divines meta is gonna be. But that's pretty much it from me. Chris Train seems okay. It seems fun. Um, multi-attacking kinda. It, it just kinda sucks that the multi-attack only works when you do the Divine skill. I wish it was less so. I wish it wasn't just three attacks. That, you know, for a lyrical deck, that just kinda seems whatever. But who am I to say? We have to see what the rest of the support looks like after we kinda get into the rest of the Divine Z meta. So that's it for me, nothing crazy. Um, just a reminder about the giveaway. We're still looking to get 200 likes so we can give these out. 
three prizes, step box, sleeves, the booster box itself, we still wanna give those out. Check out the video, give it a like, and we'll get that giveaway started pretty soon. My name's Richard, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.